As humans, we often commit to giving stuff up that we think is not good for us. When Vicky and I decided we needed to be a bit healthier, a bit fitter, part of the process was to give up cheese. And this wasn't easy. As far as I'm concerned, there are very few foodstuffs, very few meals that cannot be improved with a bit of cheese. And if you need a snack, cheese should be the first and only choice. Maybe that gives you a bit of an insight into why it was important for us to be a little healthier. It didn't last long, though I do try and eat a little less cheese these days. I wonder if you've ever tried to give anything up, something that you love which you've just stopped. Some of you may have given up smoking or drinking or eating cheese. Some of you may have given up gambling or chocolate or cheesecake. You might have given up going to certain places, seeing certain things you might have given up on your football team. You might have given it up for a day or for a week. You might have given it up for Lent. You might have stopped it and never started again. The real problem with giving something up is that so often what we need to do is to replace it with something else in order for it to work. Smokers find they need something to hold, something to put to their lips, and they might turn to e-cigarettes. Personally, I started putting Tabasco sauce on everything I used to have cheese with, which wasn't an ideal solution in itself. You see, if you give something up, be it food or an activity or social media or even a relationship, and you don't have anything to replace it with, you just tend to dwell to focus on what you're missing. And that makes giving up all the harder. I think fasting can be a bit like this. If we just fast, we give something up without anything to replace it with. It, it's harder and it's pointless. As Christians, we all know that fasting is an important spiritual discipline. It's made clear in Matthew 6, Jesus says to his followers, when you fast, then he tells them what to do. He doesn't say if you fast, he says when. It's assumed that we will but I wonder how many of us actually practice it. And sometimes the reason that we don't fast is because we don't know how or we don't know what it's for. Maybe it's because we don't know what we should be doing instead, what we should replace what we're fasting from with. The biblical pattern is to give something up in order to focus on our relationship with God. And this comes up in different ways, comes out in different ways. As Daniel receives a vision from God, he doesn't stop eating and drinking entirely. He gives up delicacies and wine and perfume. When Jesus spent 40 days in the desert preparing for his ministry, we're told he ate nothing. At various times in the Bible, people fast in order to repent, to cry out for a miracle, to prepare for a task that God has laid before them, to seek his guidance. In the book of Joel... God asks his wayward people to fast. He says, even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Fasting comes in different forms and for different ways. But essentially, it's about giving something up in order to connect with God, in order to engage in our relationship with him. So if you are giving up eating, you give up a meal, you use the time you would normally spend eating wisely. You plan it out. Instead of eating, you spend that half an hour praying, reading the Bible, confessing if need be, worshipping, connecting with God. It's worth considering too fasting from things other than food. Commit to spend a certain part of each day without looking at a screen. I don't know. Friday afternoons or an hour between seven and eight o'clock every day. I'm not going to look at a TV, a phone or a tablet. Instead, I'm going to spend that time in the presence of God. I'm going to fast from social media. And instead of looking at Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat or Instagram or TikTok, I'm going to spend the time I would normally use on that, focusing on God. Maybe it is food, maybe it's drink, maybe, I don't know, it's something else in your life that you could do with a little less of in order to have more of God. Fasting is an important and an incredible spiritual discipline that can really enable our relationship with God to flourish.
Do it sensibly, do it safely. But try fasting this week. What will you give up? What will you do in its place? Thank you.